Guys, I'm doing something. I'm doing something on the bus. And it's sort of changed plans. Yes, I'm an indecisive man, but here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just not digging this anymore because it just doesn't look so good with all these different colors and it's not really patina because it's just sort of all a mush of colors. Um, so I'm just not digging it, except I don't want the bus to look like this because it's going to be a while until I fix all the rust on the bus, yada yada yada. So it's going to be a while, so I just wanted to have something that I could have the bus one color, work on a spot, and then I could easily paint it back and it'll look good with the rest of the bus. And then at the end, once everything is done, then it can easily be removed and then the actual good stuff will be on. So what I'm going to do is spray paint. I know, some of you might not like it, but that's what it's going to be. So pretty much I can just spray this. Oh, and another reason I'm doing it is because the original color is tan and like, yeah, there's a little brown, but like all these nooks and crannies are all tan. So for the time being, until the bus gets fully stripped down, for an actual paint job in the end of its uh, restoration. This will do and I think it will be cool and then I won't have to worry so much about scratching it and doing all this stuff to it while I am working on it and then I can do body work yada yada and then I can spray it so it looks good and then in the end I'll have a nice bus and then I'll just strip it all down and then paint it. Some big birds. Try it out. First coat. Okay, this is many coats later. And it looks a lot better, obviously. And so now I gotta do like other stuff. Other panels. About to start sanding. Sorry, neighbor. Put a little rust-oleum up there just to keep the surface rust at bay. I did sand it down and stuff, so don't worry. Here's a fun tip, if you've never heard or seen it before. So you know how I have this pretty noticeable dent. Oh, autofocus, please. Pretty big dent in the bottom of my door. And this is how you fix it. A football. So what you do is you put it down in there, and then you inflate it. And as it inflates, it push out, pushes out on the dent. So I'm gonna try that. This is what the bus looks like now. It's all happened rather fast. I just, you know, mass things, taped it real quick, went inside, let it dry for a sec, come back out, do more coats. 
it's all happening, happening rather quickly. And up here I'm starting to actually work on the front. Took off the rings, just a screw and then you pop them off right there. And then I'm just taking uh, grocery bags and putting it over and then taking a screwdriver and um, lightly being careful, um, pushing in the bag so it seals around it. I'm going to do the same on this side and that looks so sideways that needs adjusting. Um, do the same on this and then obviously take this stuff off and then paint the front. And this is what it looks like after sanding the front. Pretty much all the places that are rough just sand down. See that's nice and smooth now. See it's really dirty though so sand this down. I'm actually going to take the bumper off so I can um, clean up down there too. But then after you sand you spray it down, get all the dust and stuff off, get it ready for paint and then mask off and paint. But I'm going to take the bumper off and do down there as well. Where'd it go? There it is. There's a lizard living in my bumper. Look at that thing. It's okay, buddy. He doesn't know how to get down. Poor guy. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. I believe. I believe. Poor guy's freaking out a little bit, but I'm gonna go take him to the woods. He looks real cool. Unfortunately, this day is not as sunny as yesterday. But I did get a good amount done. I got the bumper off, cleaned this stuff. There's some um, rust bubble burr things, and that's not visible. So I just went at it with a uh, wire cup brush thing and uh, just knocked it down, get it back to metal. I'll put like rust -oleum primer on it. Um, it's not visible, so it doesn't really matter that much. You wouldn't want to use that on something up here because it might tear it up a little bit. Um, yeah, so clean that. Got this to do. I can probably just bring this in the garage and work on that but it is getting pretty cloudy forecast says it's supposed to rain later so probably no paint today unfortunately would have liked to get the front done because then I'd at least have a three-quarter view of the bus but I'll just keep working on other stuff for now one more thing a warning if you're washing off your bus or something like that or your vehicle whatever you're doing if you're doing this um, and you have something like this just watch out for the cords because uh, obviously if that got dipped in water, it'd be pretty fireworks. So it's starting to rain. It's like pours for 10 seconds, then it doesn't rain at all. Then it pours for 20, but um, it started raining. I was like, you know what? I'm going to clear space for the bus. So I just cleared a few things up and pulled it in. It's actually a very special moment because this bus is 79, so 37 years. That's how old this bus is. It's 37 years old and it has never seen a garage in its entire life. So, here you go, buddy. Sleep tight. You know why we use rust -oleum? To keep the rust at bay. Get it? Because it's a bay window. I just took that little air vent grill thing off. Uh, and this is what was behind it. A couple rust bubbles. Uh, nothing too bad. Hopefully none of that actually goes through. Like holes. Yeah, so I'm going to vacuum that out. This is pretty dirty. Working on the front now, as you can see, this side is not done. Working on the front, I'm cleaning the windows because I accidentally sprayed it. Oh, there's a wasp. And one thing I'm going to do is, oh well, yeah, you can see, there's cleaning windows. Um, these stickers just aren't my, well, I like that one. But a lot of these things, I don't even know what they are. Except I can't bring myself to just take them off and throw them away, so. I'm gonna take them off very carefully and put them in a box to keep with the with the bus so they always stay with the bus. So 
sometimes there's this sticker residue on the window, so what you do is fold a piece of paper towel. Put a little glue gun on it. Look, all that just came off. Oh yeah. Mini update. I started to do this side. Oh, and she's starting to look better again. Need to put that stuff on, obviously, but I'm painting that out here. All right, I've sort of been forgetting to do updates, but this is the front bumper, and it is off, and I've cleaned it and sanded it down a little bit. And I'm gonna do it white, because the roof is gonna be white, and then the bumper's gonna be white, and the back bumper's gonna be white. I might do the emblem white, don't really know, but it'll look good. So I gotta do this. And while that dries, I am going to start cleaning and working on, somewhere in this pile, the ladder that goes on the side of the bus, because it's a little rusty crusty. It is made out of like plumbing pipes and stuff, but it's still pretty cool. So I'm going to clean it up and paint it so it looks great on the bus, which doesn't look so great. But who cares? I don't. So this is what it looks like after I primed it. I just cleaned it up as you saw with the wire cup. Brought it back out here and primed it with Rust-Oleum. I gotta get black paint to go over it. Then it'll look good as new, even though it was never new because it was made of scrap material. Nice. Now that it's all primed, obviously I have to make it look pretty. But now that the front bumper is dry, I can find where I put the bolts and put it on the bus. Never mind. I want to paint the inside of it. Bumper is on. I think I'm going to do the emblem white because that'll look good because I got to do the roof still, obviously. A little more on the sides, touching up. I'm going to start doing over the windows and stuff. And I started on the back, taping things up. Another thing I'm going to do is just clean up this exhaust. Um, I'm not going to go through the hassle of taking it all off because there's gaskets and stuff whatnot. But I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and give it a little bit of a high temp black paint. That's much better. Cool. Alright, like demon reveal. I got my drama. mix. I got my demon the reveal. Points. Let's go. That's why every challenger has to details on how to set up the demon for tracking. Because this is a car that burns the white Is he about to drag it right here? Oh yeah he is. Jeez, that thing's fast. Here is another thing that I am doing. I don't know if it will pick up well on the camera, but the old chrome is sort of like just fading away and uh, just doesn't really look good anymore. So, I'm gonna make it white. It'll go along with the bumpers and the roof, and it should look pretty good. So next up on the bus, I have, oh, oh great. Um, I, also, I still have to do stuff like this and above the windows. Um, but right now I'm gonna do the roof the same down then make it look pretty uh, there's no real good way for me to film me doing this as satisfying as it would be so I guess you'll just get a good before and after now unfortunately it looks like it's about to rain so uh, probably not gonna get too much done today but I'm gonna try you will see that I am not done um, not even done with this section I don't know if it picks up on camera but there's still like rough spots even though I've sanded, so I've got to go back over and sand that. But, uh, 
This is the line that I wanted to pull. See the difference. Oh wow. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, wow. <laughs> It's sort of hard to tell your progress until you get a really before and after thing like that. But that's really cool. Um, obviously on this side of this, I sanded down all the way to the metal and cleaned it up even to some Rust-Oleum primer and then some of this white. And so now I gotta do that for the rest. I just really wanted to do that because that's very satisfying. Let's keep working. Alright guys, it is me about probably a week not over a week later from that last clip. Um, I don't know if you know anything about South Carolina. I live really close to the coast and it is always windy. So I've just been super busy. It's the last week of school for me, um, a freshman year of college. And it's been super windy. So finding a time to actually finish painting the roof, you have to ha have almost no wind. Since it's right on top, There's you can't you know block it. You can't turn the bus around to block the wind or anything. So that's just taking a while. So you'll see that probably next video of the bus. Um, you'll just see it done whenever I get the time to finish it. But I'll post a picture of it probably on my Instagram, free plug. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Um, Instagram, right here. Austin Leonard Automotive, and I'll post pictures of that. Something cool is going to be on my Instagram in probably, I don't know, a couple days. If you uh, go check it out there if you want, or you can just stay on YouTube. No worries. Just want to say thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button. I love seeing when people hit that like button. Uh, great positivity. And subscribe, and then you'll see videos coming in the future of the bus and other stuff that's in the works. Alright guys, take it easy.